thousand. Our next uh, presentation is a main stage presentation, and as I said, we'll get a varied uh, number of presentations over the next couple of days, your workshops, the main stage presentations, and this presentation is from Coolaroo South Primary School, and their presentation is in Ghana. So give a big welcome to Coolaroo South Primary School. Hi everyone, we're going to tell you a growl story that was told thousands of years ago, way back before our parents and great, great, great grandparents came to live here. Long ago in the dream time, Yingana the most magnificent rainbow serpent, protect of all that live, woke from her deep sleep. She pushed herself up through the dry, hard sticky surface and looked around. She looked to the north where the sun shone the most. East and west where the wind blew powerfully and south where the land shivered from icy coldness. And she was troubled, very troubled. My land is barren and flat. There's no water, nor plants, nor animals. Everything is sleeping. I need to find Tillich and wake him up. And so Yingana went in search for Tillich, the greediest, fattest frog who had taken all the water for himself. Tillich, Tillich, where are you sleeping? She meandered across the land, travelling north, where the sun shone the most. East and west, where the wind blew powerfully. And south, where the land shivered from icy coldness. And at night, she rested her weary body and kept warm by curing herself up. Tiddalik, tiddalik, where are you sleeping? After many days and nights spent slithering across the land, there was still no sign of Tiddly. But one night when she had given up any hope of finding Tiddly, she woke from a deep dream and eyed the many tracks she had left behind. And there, right amongst the shallow path, she spied familiar prints. No, 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 definitely not Tillick. Feet are way too narrow. Oh, no, 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 not Tillick. Feet are all. These feet are way too small. Aha! Uh -huh. That's why. Tiddalik, found you at last. Wake up, Tiddalik! Wake up, Tiddalik! Clearly, Yingana needs your help to wake up, Tiddalik. On the count of three, we have to shout as loud as we can. Wake up, Tiddalik. Are you ready? Louder. One, two, three. Oh gosh, Tillich is very sound asleep. We'll need to shout it louder. Ready? One, two, three. And the tracks became rivers and creeks and billabongs and lakes and oceans. And the plants woke from their deep sleep and started to grow. And the water animals, the fish, the jellyfish, and the platypus all joined together to celebrate a brand new day. Southern land. 
We stand on sacred ground and keep you bumping to these native sounds. From the land of the kangaroo, gonna show you how we ride. We've been a singing and a dancing since the dawn of time. So jump up on this ride while we fly like a spear. Like the waters in the Great Barrier Reef, we keep it clear. We mix it in a mold in this classy gazi rock. We might have combo gunner is doing deadly here. Cause stop me when I'm coming like the snowy when it's blowing. Show a poetry in motion like a boomerang fly. to teach us the care and protect our precious waterways. Wow. Another big round of applause for Coro South. Just saw a giant Nemo coming past me there. That was fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I hope we're going to see a few of those dance moves at the dinner tonight. Wonderful stuff. As, um, as we know with Kids Teaching Kids, it's about telling the story in as many different ways as you can and, and dance and drama and, and poetry and rap and all these sorts of different avenues of storytelling are, are just as important as you know standing up in the front of the room and, and, and talking to a subject. In fact, they tend to, to get us excited and move our hearts more, and that's why they're so important. Well, that's got a bit of energy going, I can tell, that's for sure. 